Hello everybody, my name is Kim Lee, artist behind the Kung Fu Face Mask series. I made the series as a response to the growing racism against Asians due to the coronavirus, and Art in Time of Quarantine has sent me a few questions to answer about my work. So let's get started. Explain your work about the mask and the symbolism behind the mask. Well, masks are a very commonplace thing in most Asian countries due to air pollution and high density populations. So if you get sick, it's very normal, even considered a courtesy to wear a mask, which is something that has curtailed the spread of the coronavirus in many Asian countries. Meanwhile, mixed messages about the effectiveness of masks in recent politics in countries such as America has made the face mask into a symbol of the virus. So when you think of the coronavirus, you instantly think of the face mask. Some people even regard it as a violation of their human rights to be told to wear a mask when they don't want to. And because of this, the coronavirus has skyrocketed in countries such as America. And Asians, being seen as the source of the disease, have been subject to much harassment because of it. The fabric I chose for these masks is very intentional. It is a cheap, instantly recognizable as a general sort of asian kind of fabric that people use for tacky and culturally appropriative Chinese dresses and traditional Asian dresses of the like which serves nothing to distinguish the very many diverse Asian cultures there are from each other, just as how those who are set on seeing all Asians, whether they be Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese, etc., etc., et cetera, as bearers of the disease despite their actual ethnicity. Your response or feedback on this? Well, honestly, it was quite emotionally taxing to read all the articles about all the horrible things said and all the harassment that people like me could face and have faced to find specific phrases for these masks. Like I thought it would be, you know, something to ease my heart a little to turn such vile words into something beautiful and maybe raise awareness about anti-Asian racism along the way, which I do believe it has done, but embarking on such a huge labor of love as embroidery is, it is a very taxing hobby and craft. Writing such a vile speech in that form, it's coming from people who couldn't care less about people like me and my friends, my family. So sadly, doing that just wasn't as cathartic as I hoped it would be. How has this experience helped you manage stereotyping yourself? Well, COVID had made it abundantly clear how insidious anti-Asian rhetoric is and how little jokes and microaggressions such as Asians all look the same, Asians eat cats, dogs, bats, snakes, whatever, whatever, how that can culminate so quickly into blatant racism in dire times. I've been subject to such comments and microaggressions long before this disease has even existed. And while I knew it was like racist and harmful and it did hurt me, it really took me by surprise how it morphed so quickly into something so drastic because of the virus. It truly shows how harmless jokes actually progress so rapidly into outright, outright harassment and violence when it's left unchecked. And many people still don't take anti-Asian rhetoric seriously as racism. It kind of shocked me to see how many people like didn't understand about how racism against Asian people worked or in some cases even cared about it at all. So that's why I make the work I do to raise the awareness I can about it. So that wraps up all the questions. Thank you so much to the Art Center of Highland Park for allowing me the opportunity to exhibit Kung Fu face masks and speak out about racism through my work in such turbulent times. I am so honored to be able to exhibit my work and share my experiences with my fellow artists in this time of isolation. I believe we can get through this together. Stay safe, everybody, and don't forget to wear your mask. Bye!